if today I was to be told to keep only 10 fragrances for life, this would be it. So scenarios such as my wife says, you know what, your fragrances are taking up too, too much space in this house. It's either you buy a new house or you get rid of all your fragrances and keep 10. I would keep these. If my house was burning down and I had to grab 10 quickly, I'd try and grab most of these. Or um, if I were to choose a fragrances that I could live with and, you know, fragrances that would cover most of my life's needs, this would be it. And how I chose this list was just sitting down in bed and just thinking of those fragrances that are top of mind at the moment as I grow my 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 fragrance collection and obviously some fragrances that were very close to my heart did not make this list because as the collection grows certain things fall by the wayside certain things just uh, rise to the top the cream rises to the top and with that said um before i continue please like and subscribe to get more content like this at number 10 um recently reviewed recently came into my collection Ankunawa Sport. So essentially this very different. This is one of those special occasions fragrances. If you want to smell different and make an impression on people, this is it. It's less dry and less smoky than the original Ankunawa. So this would be my pick from that range. At number nine, a timeless, fresh, aquatic, a very affordable, cheapy. Uh, Nautica Voyage. Oh man, there's this note of apple in there and it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It took me a while to actually pick it up, but yeah. At number nine, Nautica Voyage, a fresh, timeless aquatic. I'll always have this in my collection. And then at number eight, um, another freshie. Hmm. So this one, um, Yugo Bois Sport, Bottle Sport, um, um, it's got a, a, a very uh, prominent note of grapefruit. For the longest time, I used to wonder what that note was in here until obviously I brought it in. I looked at it, researched it, and I compared it to other fragrances that I like. And there's a beautiful, beautiful note of grapefruit here. And yeah, um, yeah I'm, very, I'm, I'm a bit sad that I've got a very small bottle, but I'm looking to get a bigger bottle at some point. But I love, love, love Hugo Boss Bottle Sport. Um, yeah, uh, fresh, aromatic. And then things start to get serious on number six now. This is the, those fragrances that are head turners, that, that generate um, compliments. And at number seven, uh, Creed Aventus knockoff clone or a standalone fragrance, a fragrance in its own right uh, from the house of Amaf Club de Nui Intense for men. Um, this fragrance here is very, very famous for its pineapple note, so it mimics that pineapple note that Creed Aventus um, offers. A beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, this is one of those fragrances that was blind bought. And um, as soon as I wore it the first couple of times, people actually asked me, oh, what are you wearing? Can you please tell me what you're wearing? So I was quite pleasantly surprised at, you know, the reception that I got, you know, from Club De New Intense at number seven. Now moving into um, almost in the top five, uh, but number six and number five are fragrances that you know for me are sometimes very interchangeable when i smell them and uh, you know there's the same profile and at number six it's masoni pour eau parfum um commonly um compared to blue de chanel um but you know a fragrance in its own right with its own dna even though it's similar to that it's a woody aromatic it also has top notes of grapefruit lemon so nice freshy and then it settles down into the woods patchouli i think uh tonka bean oak moss are in this if i'm not mistaken so Missoni poem perform at number six and then the next one very close behind this one a nice ember fougere 
very very nice beautiful beautiful fragrance um rojas low um one of my blind buy surprises i'm still surprised at how much this uh fragrance costs versus you know the kind of fragrance that's inside in here you know it's 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 beautiful beautiful smells very high end performance is good it just smells good the cr just projects nicely and people will just notice it yeah so that's uh kicking off uh the top five at number five Lom rojas at number four a fragrance that has served me very very well you know i fell in love with it at first you know with and yeah it is a uh, you Om le parfum um i recently reviewed the original you Om. very different to this this is a much more modern take on a sweet fragrance um it can smell very classy um it's uh, as it dries down it's very very sweet um i'm not even afraid to sweet and strong i'm even afraid to 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 spray it in the air um uh, but very 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 beautiful uh fragrance here at number four it's super sweet the prominent note here the praline note it's sweet 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 um yeah so it makes it it's it's a beautiful beautiful scent um i love it i love it a lot and you know i am it's one of those well-worn fragrances despite the juice level not showing but because this is super strong i don't need to put on a lot of sprays um to to prove a point that you know i'm wearing this fragrance um you om le parfum love it at number four and then into the top three at number three coach for men sorry coach for men um this is a fragrance that i fell in love with a couple of years ago and to this day i still love it you know it is versatile office friendly just signature scent worthy it's just it's an overall well-rounded um beautiful fragrance versatile fragrance um the next one i call raban one million privé a discontinued fragrance a fragrance that I fell in love with the first time I caught a whiff of it. I was like, I want that one, you know. It got discontinued shortly after I got myself this bottle, this tiny bottle here, which is almost done. Uh, yeah, but a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It sits at number two. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. If it weren't for the number one, this would still be my number one favorite fragrance that I would want to keep for life. Um, it's an amber woody, it's got a prominent tobacco and cinnamon note here, and the tobacco and cinnamon, that combo along with tonka bean, it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance, you know, I'm even afraid to, you know, push out a spray because, you know, as you can see, the juice level is, is, is dying out on me. Um, a beautiful, beautiful fragrance sitting at number two. Uh, I would want to keep for life, even though um, I would struggle to get stock if I wanted to replace it. But um, a fragrance that I totally, totally love. And I'm very sad that Papa Roban decided to make space for other things and discontinue this one. But yeah, such things happen. And then sitting at number one, um, a fragrance that will always hold a special place in my heart. Dior Sauvage Elixir. The fragrance that I wore on my wedding day. Mm. It is spicy. It is super strong. It is aromatic. It is just packed, 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 packed. One spray, two sprays. It will last you the whole day. You'll choke people out if you go more than three sprays with this thing. Um, Dior Sauvage Elixir would sit at number one. It would be one of the 10 fragrances that I'll definitely want to leave my burning house with if I were to quickly have to take 10 and and, and make a run for it. And yeah, and that's my top 10 fragrances that I'd want to keep for life for now. Um, in my journey, it's very early on in my journey. So this list every two months or so, every three months or so, I'll do this list and you'll see how it changes. I know definitely it's a, a list that will always be changing because, you know, a month ago, the top 10 
fragrances in my head were different to the top 10 now and probably in the next three months it will be another top 10 so yeah that's it for now um till next time peace